Welcome to Outside Lives. Um, I'd like to share with you now um, something in Drew that we call the Earth Sequence. And it's a beautiful, very simple sequence that we can do standing. It only takes five or 10 minutes. It's very, very subtle moves to keep the spine moving in such a wonderful way that it feels really healthy and the whole body feels really balanced and full of vitality. So, um, if you would like to bring yourself into Tadasana, the mountain pose, have the feet hip width apart, the knees soft, the core engaged. And we can engage the core by imagining you're zipping up the front of the body, lifting the sternum, take the shoulders up behind and down. Let the arms hang carefree. Feel that length in the back of the neck, the crown lift into the sky. So before we move, just enjoying feeling the crown lifting on the in-breath and the body softening and the feet grounding on the out-breath. Wonderful. A great posture to do if you're in the queue or at a bus stop or you just need to stand somewhere, you can bring the whole body into that beautiful balanced mountain posture. So for the earth sequence, we're going to interlock the fingers and we're going to draw them up and then the palms face down and then we turn the palms to face away and then we lift up and then we soften down. How lovely does that feel? So we breathe in, we breathe out as we take the palms down, we soften the knees, we push the palms away, we keep gazing up at the hands, lovely extension on the in-breath and a real softening on the out-breath. Breathe in, breathe out. Breathe in, push away, lift up, and then we're gonna pause here to incorporate a lovely twist. We're just going to drop over to the right and drop over to the left and release on the out breath. Just noticing how that feels in the whole of the body. So stage two is similar, but we're going to actually move the hands down closer to the earth into a forward bend. So we breathe in. As we breathe out, you can either take the hands to the level of the knees or even lower down towards the earth. And then to come up, it's really important we bend into the knees, keep the back flat, use the core, the strength of the legs to lift you up. I'm going on the side so you can see, breathe in, breathe out, coming down. So we breathe in, bring ourselves into a forward bend, take the hands as low as is comfy for you, bend deep into the knees, use the core, let the hands guide the upward movement, taking the gaze up and coming back down enjoying the movement, enjoying coordinating breath with movement, breathing in, breathing out, sliding down, bend the knees, breathe in, beautiful, breathe out, breathe in, incorporating that lovely twist and release. Starting to notice how does my body feel when I move it in this way? So stage three, we're going to go into squat. Now, sometimes it's quite nice if in the squat you can place a cushion or something under your heels if you've got one handy. Now, you can come into full squats or if today you think it's better for you to come into semi-squat, then you decide. We all work with how our bodies are feeling in this moment. So interlocking the fingers, breathing in, breathing out, come into semi-squat or full squats pushing into the heels on that nice supportive cushion as we breathe in and breathe out, soften down. Wonderful, let's try two more. Breathing in, breathing out, come to the floor, breathe in forward and up, come down. Take it nice and slow. Breath with movement, breathe in, into semi-squat or full squats, push into the heels, breathing in and then holding that position as we come into our side bends. Wonderful, 
Breathe in and release. Notice how the body feels now. So a little treat, we're going to do this movement to the side. So we're going to turn the pivot on the right heel 90 degrees, left heel back. So the hips are facing the right and we interlock the hands at the top of the leg. Now we're not going to be leaning the torso forward. The weight is going to move forward and back or from the front foot to the back foot, but this body stays upright. So we breathe in, breathe out, bend into the front knee and the foot is far enough forward that the knee is above the ankle. And then we take the arms forward and have a beautiful stretch up. We can look up to the hands, push into the front foot as we take the weight behind. Breathe in, breathe out. So breathe in at your breath rate, which may be different to mine. Release, let the movement be flowing and soft. And pause in at the third position and twist into the right, twist into the left. Opening the arms, taking the weight behind as you breathe out. Pause. Let's repeat that the other way. So pivot on the left heel 90 degrees, right heel back, hips are facing to the left, interlock the fingers, breathing in, breathing out. Let the hands guide the movement, beautiful upward stretch, breathe out as we soften, take the weight down. Breathe in, breathe out. Taking the gaze upwards, pushing into the front foot as you come back. Breathe in, breathe out. So in the third, third round, we're going to bring in those lovely twists. Release. Come back to the front. Stand in where we started in Tadasan. Notice how the body feels now. Notice in the breath. Noticing what's happening in the mind. Have we created more space? More space between the thoughts. And taking three mindful breaths here, in and out of the nostrils. Namaste. Thank you for joining me for this earth sequence. I hope you can use it in your day to create health and vitality in the spine and the whole body. Thank you.